Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing and falling water. So, all of the Land the House ram pumps that ship out have a pressure tank, which is this PVC cylinder here. This does a couple of things. It provides a air cushion so that pressure builds in here and then as the delivery pipe is opened, it will allow a constant flow of water as the pressure builds. Also, if you open the valve too quick, this will hold a certain amount of pressure in it so that the pump doesn't stop due to pressure loss. So it's been important to have a pressure tank. But the question is, will the hydraulic ram pump run without a pressure tank? Let's find out in this video. So here's the setup. I'm first going to gather a baseline pressure and then we will take the garden hose up the hill and we will get a flow rate. And then we will take the pressure tank off. If it still runs, then we will get the same data and see what happens with that. So let me walk you through the setup here. I have got roughly two and a half feet of head pressure, which is the drop from this bucket source down to the pump. And to fill that bucket, I've got my storage tanks on top of the hill that come down here to the garden. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And the bucket will fill and once it's full, it will stop by a float valve. You can see here, that'll shut off the water whenever the bucket's full. So we'll always have a consistent source to start from. To begin this test, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water on. And I'm gonna to have to push the waste valve a couple of times to build pressure in the tank. We may have it go in there. All right, let's let this run for a second and we'll go ahead and turn on our pressure gauge. We will let this build for a couple of minutes. Oops, other valve. Huh. And then we will come back and see what the pressure is. So let's give it a minute and a half. So after a minute and a half, we are pretty well topped out at 20 PSI. Now this is not the pressure that the pump will operate with with an open delivery pipe. This is just the pressure it reaches here inside a closed system. All right, cool. So the next thing I'm gonna do is open the delivery pipe. We'll close off this pressure gauge. Don't need that now. And I just heard the water rush out of the tank and up the hill. So I'm gonna just turn the pump on for a while until we start seeing water out the top. The reason it stops flowing is because we've lost back pressure here and the bucket is running because water is bypassing the pump and going uphill until it matches the source. Looks like some debris has gotten stuck in my automatic valve here. Hold on. The water weight in the delivery pipe has reached a point that it's heavy enough to keep the pressure in the pressure tank, and so the pump is running on its own. So pretty soon, it's going to be reaching my little uh, sprinkler system up here, and we'll be able to get a flow rate in one minute's time. So the bucket that's right here has two foot of drop going to the pump over there, and that comes up the hill to right here, where we have this output. So I'm gonna be using this little tote and a timer to see when it reaches this point right here. So it may take a moment. All right. I'll be back in a bit whenever this fills up. Okay, we're just coming up on a minute and a half for that amount of water right there. All right, cool. That's gonna be our base right there. So we're gonna touch those lines in a minute and a half. So our normal operating pressure in this setup is 20 PSI in a minute and a half. And then in a minute and a half, it came up to those lines, which is arbitrary, but will be good enough for our test. So now I'm just gonna remove the T here that has the pressure tank on it, and it will straight pipe from the secondary valve into the output, and let's see if this will even work. Okay, as you can see, the pressure tank has been removed here, and it just straight pipes on to the output. So 
I have reset the pressure here on our pressure gauge. Let's go ahead, I've also got the hose closed here for the delivery. Let's go ahead and get this running again. All right, seems to start off immediately there. All right, let's go ahead and open up our pressure wave, or pressure here. Looks like we are building a lot of pressure really quick. We're at uh, 24 by six. Whew, a lot of pressure, yeah. All right, we hit the 40 PSI here pretty quick, which is a bit ridiculous. And the pump's trying to come apart over here. Let's see if it'll climb above 40. All right, that looks like it's gonna be about it. All right, so 40 PSI which is what the tank would actually build up to if you let it sit long enough. All right, we'll close this off and we'll stop with that. And now let's go up to the top and get a flow rate. So let's reduce, open that up and let that pressure out of there. Okay, we'll go ahead and open this and we will get our flow rate at the top now. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer here on filling this up again and we will see what we get here uh, hopefully we'll see similar results around the minute and a half mark so i will bring you back whenever this finishes up here there is a minute and a half and it has not quite reached the same level as the previous test did we are close though you can see the little indicators in there so we are 15 seconds over all right, so there is two minutes right there. We'll go ahead and call it at two minutes. Interesting results. So the first test we had 20 PSI in roughly a minute and a half. And uh, had uh, we reached those little indicator marks in a minute and a half. Without the pressure tank, it popped up to 40 PSI immediately, which is actually, from my experience, pretty typical max pressure for the two and a half-ish feet. So uh, the bucket, the foot of the bucket water actually uh, counts as another foot. So it's about three foot of uh, pressure there. Um, and also we noticed that the uh, flow rate was less and it took about 30 seconds more to reach that same marker. Um, so there are definitely benefits to having a pressure tank. One of them is that it smooths out the output some. And the other is that you can see it didn't just slam to 40 PSI immediately, but it helped to build it up slowly. So if you are operating a pump in normal operation, you actually see the water jump up and down in that pressure tank. Um, just kind of helps smooth out that pressure so it's not just a constant uh, hard pressure. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and be sure to ring the notification bell. I post a lot of videos here on the channel that you will probably enjoy. Also, hit that like button, and uh, I will see you in the next video.